And we're live from the Iron Futu- Futurist. <laughs> Dang it. Hold on. Let me have a redo. Really, Can really I have a redo? Screwed that Hold up. on. No. And we're live from the Iron Fortress Studios in New York City. Okay. Sorry. Go ahead. I had to redo it. We're back. In New York. What do we have? What is this? Are these... Are these... Well, we, we were just out grocery shopping. So for the taste test, we found um, this like healthy version of they're in the Cheetos. organic aisle so Ugh. well that's already a bad sign if it's in the organic aisle what are they called jim they're called crunch crunchies crunchies from heirloom pipcorn snacks what are, what are the macros? <laughs> pipcorn pipcorn yeah that's a that's a P-I-P. good nickname for you pipcorn yeah well I, I don't flavor know about is that. cheddar uh so yeah it's cheddar flavored it's 140 calories Eight grams of fat, three grams of protein. The rest are carbs. All right, Zach's already dived in. So what are the carbs? Well, the the rest of the calories. Yeah, how many grams of carbs, Jim? Fifteen. Thanks. It's made with real cheddar, though, so I think it's a play. Like, I don't think they want to come out on the packaging and say that they're trying to compete with Cheetos, but it says it's eight grams fat per serving compared to ten in the leading cheese crunch. I'm gonna start. It's like eating a stale Cheeto with a dusting of, like, cheddar on it. I, I don't know if I'm just hungry or what, but, like, I'm not mad at it. No, they're no, good. I'm not mad at it, but it's very plain. But yeah. these, aren't, these aren't that much, these, these aren't that, like, macro-friendly for me to be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to buy these. But, yeah. but if you have these and Cheetos sitting out on the table, I'm, I'm grabbing either. I think a Cheeto is probably more crunchy, yeah. Oh, as yeah. I recall. Well, these are also baked, so they're not... Oh okay. I think they're supposed to be. I'm not mad at the flavor. It's like uh, it's just real light, so. you know. Yeah, it's just real light. And I can't tell if it's real cheddar or not. I feel every time they say that, it tastes the same. Wisconsin so. cheddar. Not bad. Not bad. Um, are we rating that against a regular Cheeto compared to a Cheeto or Studio this is, snacks? This is not as good as a regular Cheeto. Yeah, not a good. As, I, I I would comparing to a regular Cheeto, I would say it's it's a probably about a six would i eat an entire bag yeah i probably would <laughs> i could still be hungry after an entire bag too yeah they're pretty light pretty light and airy they're like a if you like have if you have um gluten allergies or things like that i feel like this is right up your alley not bad not bad um and yeah in comparison to a cheeto it's like a five but as far as studio snacks go i'm gonna give it a I'm going to give it a 7.6. I'm just going to go with a 6 the whole way. Okay. Um, anybody else want to give a... Nope. 7.2. Um, for a studio snack, I would say it's probably about a 6.5, 7 maybe. Okay. Um, so the other... Uh, we brought two things for the taste test. The other thing, this is all Jimmy. He found it in the candy aisle. It is. It says on the outside of the bag, a product of Japan. And it's lychee gummy candy. Oh wow! So, have you guys uh, ever had lychee fruit? Or is I've it heard lychee? of it. I don't know. Sorry. When I've so heard of it, we've had it when we were in Honduras, and it was it was a nice treat that we got from a a boy on the side of the road. It's, it smells like a. What's? I'm sorry. <laughs> the lychee Zach. fruit in Honduras we got from a boy on the side of the road. He Zach was, was completely it. disinterested with this conversation until you said "boy on the side of the road," and then he perked up. I really like the the chewiness of it. The f- Go ahead and eat it. The, the I mean, it's a it's a nice little gummy. Like I would I could eat a bag of these. Oh, I'm good. Jimmy's like I'll finish them off. What do you think, Nate? Taste is better than the smell. Yeah. Yeah, it smells like nail polish remover. The smell is like I feel like it smells like a like a bathroom air freshener. I'll but like, a, but like the strong, like yeah. it, when it's you know over scented about? and you're yeah. like walking, mm-hmm. you're like. Mm, I'll give it an eight too, for a gummy. Yeah, I really appreciate the gumminess. It's not like stuck on my teeth now. Yeah, yeah. That's that's solid. Not bad. 
Not bad. It's, I don't like the smell. It can be found in the um, candy aisle at High V. International Hy-Vee. candy. International section. candy, High V section. International candy. Which I didn't know that they had this, and then we were in the candy aisle for some reason or another, and I... For some reason, you intentionally went there, because no. you always buy little sweet treats. It's no. Girl Scout season right now, guys. We're starting to do cookies. Just hey, can we taste here. test every flavor, but we each get our own box? Well, we just ordered three boxes. What did you get? You guys have a it's source? It's a secret. Yes, I have a source. Is Briar doing that? With the... Not that I with know the, of. With the H-G. one crew? Yeah. Not that I know of. You know what I heard about that? This is kind of messed up that somebody said this. Their kids were doing the um, Girl Scout stuff. Um, if they sell those for like $12 a box. They're like $6 a box. They get like a dollar of that. Good night. Like they've got to sell expensive. a ton of it. They're doing those. They're doing those. Uh, Ponzi schemes. They're doing those South Korean ratios on that. What does that mean? Slavery. Oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah. I think South Korea is the, the free country. So, free South Korea. is the good one? Okay, yeah. North Korea, I mean, sorry. Come on, Nate. I'm sorry, okay? I just, you guys try to jam me full of these weird snacks and then expect me to just perform at peak level. You should always perform at peak level. I don't know what you want from me. I think you just, do you need some enhancement? <laughs> what does that mean? I think you know. Oh. Well, I don't, when you, I mean, that could be a lot of things when you say that. Performance enhancing? Yeah. We'll, we'll figure it out. Zach, you said you had a lot of ideas for the show. Just like in general or like for today's? This is like off-air ideas. Oh, okay, gotcha. That nobody wanted to listen to at the time. Off-air? Well, you picked up a phone call. Yeah. yeah. That's true, too. You really did. I didn't want to. I can promise you that. <laughs> mm-hmm. I can answer it next time. Oh, wow. I'm almost out of these. You want one, Jimmy? No. He's, thank he's referring to his spicy packets. It's a green green and white box. <laughs> Sorry, dude, you weren't even looking. I'm always looking. What's uh, the milligram, the dosage? They are uh, eight milligrams. Okay. And uh, Jimmy did it like a champ. I like he, how Jimmy's got his shoes know. off in here. Just chilling out. Well, I, I just, you know, we're, we're just podcasting, and I didn't want to put my, my workout shoes those on. Those are comfy, those socks. Yeah. Are yeah, those some of the ones you got for Christmas? No. No. Uh-huh. no. I've had these for a while. He brought They're those Cabela's wool socks. Oh, he, you brought those from your past life? Mm-hmm. I did. Yeah, when you were a bachelor? They uh, they keep your feet warm, though. Yeah. Ugh. Uh, Amy, you don't seem pumped about it. Mm, they're just kind of ugly. Really? They look comfy. They look like comfy, soft, like... Comfy and... We're, we're at home cool. watching... Comfy is a completely different thing than the appearance. Oh. Yeah. They're just not stylish, you know. No. And maybe it, maybe it's because it's brown socks and green pants. But you're wearing a lot of uh, what? What do you call earth that? Earth tones. Earth tones. So yeah. I had another issue with Jimmy, and I'll just bring it up really quickly. And oh. then Christina immediately like said, "Saved I, me." I do this too, and I was like, no. "Oh, good. That's great for you, Jimmy." Yeah. So we yeah. were we were driving back from the gym, and we were talking about because um, it's been really really cold. Like we're talking negatives, like five seven degrees yeah, it's been and crazy so cold. we were worried about like what if the power went out because power lines go down when things start to freeze and so we were talking about the different food that we had in the house because we had just gone grocery shopping and jimmy goes well we've got the ramen noodles we could eat those and i was like and without electricity how are we going to eat those and he was like well we'll just sprinkle the seasoning on the dry ramen noodles and eat them like mm-hmm. he and he mm-hmm. was like we used to do that all the time when we were kids and then we'd, we'd break them up and then and i was like never done that never heard of that brought it up here christina saved him yeah she so said, christina does that too she says that she does it too mm-hmm. i've never i was like did you chip a tooth when you did this it's been a while since i've done it but like we used to do that as a kid because it was like a quick snack like parents are just you know do whatever like go eat ramen it. noodles is a quick snack Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it requires the oven, so if you're no, it, doesn't. It, it, it actually requires the stove, not the oven, or, or the microwave. microwave. It requires hot water. Yeah, yeah. We didn't you we didn't have immediate access to hot water. Really? So I, I've never done that personally, but a lot of guys in college would do it. It's not. They bad. would just like sprinkle stuff on it and eat them. And I was like, what is? What do you guys do? Hard? Yeah. Is that what we're talking about? They yeah. eat them hard. hard. Yeah. I've I've seen a lot of different people do that. I think they do. I've I never done it because I was like, well, just prison. take 30 seconds and eat up some so water So again, I'll say this to all the listeners. If this is something you do, 
please please comment because Jimmy needs all the support he can get. Well, I mean, that's like that. They should. They haven't covered that on Are You Garbage yet. Mm-hmm. That's that's coming. I I've had nobody tell me the butter on the pop tart thing, except for you. I've asked. I asked my dad, <laughs> who's done it all, sir. <laughs> It's not looking good for you. <laughs> well, you know, it's maybe maybe it's just like a southern thing, you know, like the further south you go, the the more popular it is. Don't think so. I mean, it could be. Maybe it's a Canadian thing. Maybe you're, you know, really Canadian. Yeah. No, I doubt oh, it's it. definitely European. It's who French. Are the, who are the people that are real inbred? It's those people. The I think odd it's family. Those people. Steel, no, they're they're Steel from Hill. they're from odd. Oh, uh, they're from odd. It, Whitakers. The, the Whitakers. Whitakers. What? Oh, is this like a TLC show? No, or something? Like you're talking in, about people in, that are in, inbred, right? In West Virginia, there's oh, a family I've seen that. on YouTube. I've seen that. Oh, yeah. okay. I wasn't prepared for you all to know them. Like, well, they, Jim we Bowen. went to the West Virginia. We, know is their names. we were an hour away from where they live. Mm. You ate at their hot dog stand? No, we we did not. We did not, but got the best dogs in the business. We were invested in learning about the area before we went, mm. and then you know, just like any travelers do, you want to get to know the area. Man, that would suck to be known for that. Yeah, it would. Could you imagine that? And then, like, also just double down and own it, Ugh. and be make your own YouTube channel. What well, they didn't. They didn't make their own YouTube. Somebody else like came and visited. Oh, I think it was and, the like, one. There was like a. <laughs> I'm not being mean. I'm just describing to you what I saw. It was just like... It's about to be mean. 55... Why? I don't know. I just feel it. <laughs> it was just like 55, 60-year-old man sitting on a bed just barking. He was just... Oof, 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 if that's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah. Yeah. They, I'm not I, being mean. I haven't just, seen the YouTube videos, but I read, I've read articles about him. And like the guy who um, started this YouTube show or whatever he does... Why are you laughing? Because Zach's sniffing his water bottle. Either way... The guy who did it, when he first met them, like, one of the younger ones greeted him by, like, running up to him and, and then barking at him and then running off, like, screaming, I think. It was, <laughs> it was, like, he was said it was the strangest thing ever. Yeah. That's wild, man. I've never heard of him. I've never heard of the Whitaker family. Oh. It was big on TikTok, I think, for a while. Like, do you, you want me to show you, show you, you, you want me to show you a picture? I'd love to see a picture, yeah. Okay. Speaking of... TikTok, YouTube, and all that. Our, uh, who are the people... Me and you are, have been quoting two people recently. It's the uh, Thousand Pound Sisters. I've been doing it all the time. Lacey's getting sick of it, but... I uh, I saw a TikTok the other day of them pretty recently. Oh, really? I have to show it to you. Yeah. It's so good. You know who we're talking about, don't you, Jimmy? Is that, is that That's the, the, the big ladies that, like... Is she, she's like, there are things you can do. And she's like, you're the dang baby. Okay. Yeah. That's... <laughs> okay. That's are they the same same people? My bills are paid. Yeah. 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 yeah okay. Yeah. I am grown. My bills are paid. The diet go, coke lady. The yeah. She diet goes so she can. So have yeah. She goes. Yeah. Yeah. She goes. Uh, how much water do you drink? And they're like, what? What are you talking about? And then she's like, okay. She's like, what do you drink? And they're like, diet sodies. Diet sodies. How many do you have a day? Fifteen. Yeah. She says like four, fifteen, sixteen, and she's like the lady like, but she, visibly is like, oh my the word. The saddest part is the next part. Yeah, then she says, uh, my mom told us that whenever we have a, a sweet treat, Jimmy, call back, she goes, they go, uh, you drink a Diet Sodi and it cancels it out. I've heard, I've actually seen this little part. I don't watch the show, but I know exactly. I haven't seen it either. So there's another part that they were just, me and, we watched this TikTok and it was like the two sisters sitting next to each other and the one was talking about... <laughs> She thinks she's pregnant. She goes, I think I'm pregnant. Oh, that's the one. That was and, she's, and, and, and the doctor or therapist, whoever, was like, why do you think you're pregnant? And she was like, because I'm just... I, well, she started with, like, I, when was the last I'm time I'm having all these cravings. I never drink water, but I am craving water. And her sister is it on... Cuts, like, it cuts to, like, later, like the... You know, they talk to him after the thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. And then her sister, like, it cuts to her sister, and she's like... She's so stupid. She's no. not pregnant. She goes, she, she, she goes, thirsty. She goes, bitch, you thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, Like the clips that I see, man, that clip there, I, I've been just like constantly. Lacey will be like, hey, did you pay the water bill? And I'll be like, my bills are paid. Like when we're in the kitchen and she's like, oh, my gosh. Like I've been doing it all the time because it's just stuck in my head constantly. I bet she loves it. Yeah. Yeah, I bet you she does. I don't. I think she's going to leave me. 
I feel like you really did dress up for this podcast. Your, really? your flannel looks nice. Oh, it thanks. looks new. Yeah. Thanks. You're wearing a nice shirt. Yeah, dude. I, I have a clean shirt on. You got I your, bathed. You got your Jordans I on. I got my Jordans on. You were in pants this time. I don't like it. Well, dude, that's because that's because you don't like it when I'm dressed better than you. Yeah. Oh, is that what it is directly? Yes. Okay. Well, I didn't. I didn't. It just just fell together. Okay. I didn't. You know, oh, I just I just hard, had these laying around. It wasn't even hard for you. Is that what you're saying? I'm wearing my Barbell Games t-shirt. You guys see that? Yeah. It's a nice shirt. That's coming up. Yeah, I don't think I'm competing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've lifted twice in the year of 2024, so. We're yeah. about 12 weeks out, so you could do a 12-week it serious? It's, got, it's longer than that, right? 13, maybe? Oh. Uh, at the most? Uh, I kind of want to do it, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. I don't know if I... Because you have a couple clients competing in that, don't you? Yeah, almost double digits. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Really? You know, yeah. if you need some help. I will. I will. I'm probably going to, like, day of the meet. You just assign all, me a person are you and all I'll, competing? I'll, I'll be. No, I, well, do I, we wanna, don't know. Do you want to go, though? Probably 50 50. Maybe. 50. maybe. We're, we're, so our don't prob- go on our account, but that would be huge if we had. If we go. I already to told have. him he could just assign me one person, and I'm going to make sure that they. Well, it's like if I'm going to be triumphant. there. If I'm going to be there anyway, oh, and we're going to, like, rent an Airbnb and be there anyway. It's like I might as well do it and just well, do and it for fun. Well, and Rally said uh, she might talk to Jamie about it because Jamie's doing a different competition. But she's like, I might bring it up to him. I think so if, get the crew back maybe together. Maybe if Jamie switched, maybe maybe I would consider it more. You know, because you want to beat him. Well, no, I wouldn't beat him. I wouldn't be in his weight class. Oh, that's true. You wouldn't. Right? I'm I'm too out I of shape. I still think to you should go right now. Why, why would you consider if Jamie went? Because that's just one more person that I know that's going. Yeah, the more okay. people I know that well, go, the but, more, but, more likely I'll go. So you won't go even if we're going? I'll, I mean, I'll still go. I just I might not compete. But you wouldn't compete if we competed? No, if you guys competed, I'd So compete. here's the other flip side to this com- this competition. Like, regardless of, like, Jimmy having to lose weight, both of us actually having to lift consistently and getting back into it, because right. it, it does hurt. Right. Some of the events are just, like, like the... Um, the duck walk is The not duck walk fun. and power stairs are Don't not going to be ideal for Jimmy at all. Right. Um, yeah. So there's just some things that aren't going to be fun. Yeah. I'm going to go back to cutting, and when I do that, I'm like, you know, I mean, I'm probably not going to be as strong as I would have been, right? But I might as well just, I, I don't know, if I'm going to be there, and it's like, I don't, I feel like there's enough people going that everybody will be able to kind of like give each other, mm-hmm. you know, pointers and hang out and stuff where it's like I won't be bombarded the entire day, but. I think you will. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm gonna assign all the girls to Amy, probably. That works. And then you can just be like, so I'll for this, you're gonna zero it, but have fun. <laughs> That's what you'll do. Yeah. No. You'll I be would, like, look, I'm gonna, that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you'll be like, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set it to you straight, okay? You're not good at this. You're just, I you're would really. Never say hold on, that. let me finish my bit, okay? You're like, look, you're not good at this, and you're definitely not as good as I am. But go out there, have fun, try your best, and then I'll smack him on the butt. Yeah. I'm all about that. Please, yeah, record that. She walks out there and she's like, "Are you into? Are, do you like you like play chess or like do you have anything else you're good at? Because this isn't it. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't the thing for you." I she's would like, never <laughs> do that. <laughs> her face. Funny. She's like mortified us even just joking about it. I didn't even have anybody in mind her saying that to, and she's still so mad at me. Yeah, like, I know. I, yeah, would, I would never. I would never. I would joke about it. I mean, I wouldn't say that to anyone's face, but... You say shit like that to Christina all the time. Oh, yeah, my but, gosh. But Christina is different. She can handle it. Yeah. It helps her. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, help is a pretty yeah, I mean, broad I, word there. I think that's the lens I always look through, too, mm-hmm. when I'm looking for, like, who can handle this abusive relationship? Can she take... Can she take it? Yeah. Somebody, she, she gives it right back, so... I was listening to somebody talk, and they were saying that they thought that like that was their that's how they were helping that they were being like that was their way of helping somebody was to be like so just to let you know like everybody thinks this about you oh, really? <laughs> yeah. and i was like that's oh that's rough you know yeah i mean you just get a little thicker skin yeah i heard something funny yesterday in real life uh, i don't know if it was on sunday i think Two of my coworkers were there, and I was like, both of them named Taylor, by the way. I thought that was cool. Nice. Guy Taylor, girl Taylor. Oh, wow. And I said, Taylor, Taylor, Taylor boy, would you rather have wings or be able to breathe underwater? And he said something. 
and I asked the other tailor, and she said, "What are the flavor of wings?" Okay, <laughs> that's nice. good for quick, you. Quick. Good for you. Their couple name could be like Tay Tay. That's one of them. Really? Not as a couple though. Um, oh, okay. Jimmy, this couple that we gave the puppy to, um, they're the Baileys. Their uh, oh, boyfriend cool. and girlfriend, both names are Bailey. Bailey and Bailey. First name. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. And they're the, we just call them the Baileys, but they have that's cool. Sam the puppy. Wow. I have uh, so. my mom has a cousin named Paula, and she's married to Paul. Hmm. Oh wow! Paul and Paula. Paul and Paula. Yeah, good people. He's a farmer. I have no idea what she does. She's just the sweetest lady in the world. Hmm. That's her accolade. Nice. Changed my mind. Hey, are we? Uh, is it time for me to beat you guys in trivia? Is that what we're doing now? Mm-hmm. Well, on uh, yesterday. On yesterday. So yesterday, uh, my father-in-law's in town. He's having back surgery. And so, just now? Yeah. Good grief. Yeah. It was no. over Thanksgiving, wasn't it? Yeah. Or he's Christmas. like, yeah, he's got, he's now more probably machine than he is human. But my mother in law, yeah, my mother in law <clears throat> went out to the car to like go back to the hospital and then like her car was totally dead. Ugh. And so, gotta love that. She's the only one here. So she, you know, was talking to Lacey. And so, she was like, maybe Nathan can just give me a jump or whatever. But I was like, well, it's like, if it dies again, though, you know, after mm-hmm. like, one time, because it was just so cold. Right. So long story short, I ended up like going to like five different places to find the right battery because I went to two different O'Reilly's and neither of them had the right battery size. For that Impala? Yeah. That's hard to believe. Isn't that crazy? Well, I was, so it's she like the was. the most common car on the road. So this is what's crazy. Was she is saying that, um. She was like, we've just been selling batteries all weekend. Oh, because of course they have. everybody's cars are dead. Of course they have. And so, two places didn't have it. I stop at a place I knew like the size that I needed because I hadn't been over there to take the old battery yet. It's like double A's. Yeah, it took like eight eight uh, C batteries. D's. And so, the guy gives me the battery, and I was like, okay, well, like, you know, they said that they needed a series 75 or whatever it was. And it said 78 on top. So I was like, I don't know if that, and he's like, Oh, it's just a different brand. So I take the battery over there after going four places. Didn't fit. Sure. And I was like, okay. So I take the old battery back with me and then I go there. And just by chance, the manager was the one that like checked me out when I went back. And I was like, yeah, I got the wrong battery. And I, I was frustrated. I was hoping I'd get the same guy so I could be like, Hey, Hey, need, Durkle. Hey, Durfenschmerz. Yeah. I just wanted to be like, hey, you gave me the wrong battery, you know? But then the manager was there, and I was like, hey, I was here earlier, and they sold me the wrong battery or whatever. And so, like, he pulls the guy up front and was like, it's negative 15 outside. And he was like, like, side post, like, 75 series or whatever. is like a standard size. It's not like a brand thing. And I was like, I didn't really want this, you know? Like, I didn't really, oh, I didn't wow. necessarily want him to be, like, publicly shamed by his manager in front of everybody in there. But, I mean, like, it was all, I, he didn't do it horribly. It was just like he, he just was like using it as a learning experience, mm-hmm. kind of. But he also at the same time was kind of like reprimanding him, shaming him. But I was I, like, I hear shame is a, is a great way for people to learn. Yeah. I mean, yeah. 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 He'll and, never make that mistake ever again. No. Yeah. Yeah. So then I went back and then swapped out her battery. But I was like, man, it all, like, part of me was like, that couldn't have gone any better. And then part of me was like, I feel bad for the guy because it's like, he's probably, like, if it was me, it was that in your town? What's that? Was that here in town? Yeah. Okay. It was like, if it was me, I'm a part-timer, mm-hmm. and like I just made some mistake. It's still like, I mean, you probably should have asked the question, but it's like, yeah. You think there's four O'Reilly's in Sturgeon? Well, I didn't know if he went up to like, you know, further north. To like all right. Northern Amy's got game. Let's see what we got here, guys. <laughs> they're, they're all right Jimmy next to each other. Jimmy starts negative. Yeah, there's four of them. They're just doom, doom, doom. They're not like, even, you're going to have to go to location C. They're not even like like from the O'Reilly's chain. That's just the family's name. They've yeah. all just they've, oh, they've that's fra- funny. fractured That's off. funny, yeah. I'm running my own store. Yeah, it's four different families. They just all like that, a family feud. Yeah. And they own four different O'Reilly's. They have four different. Ever since Grandpa passed, they split up. Um, everybody Sorry. guess a number. One 66. to a hundred. Okay. Fifty. Okay. Thirty-eight. It's okay. me. It's Jimmy. It was fifty-three. God. So it's what was his? Fifty. Fifty. So oh, no, he was really Jimmy, close. Jimmy, Zach, Nate. Okay. Okay. So as always, Amy's rules. 
and I tried to group things do that we, are... Is this a category? This is just general trivia? It's general trivia, but I tried to do things like if I gave one person sports, it's going to go three questions in a row that are sports-related, or three questions so in a I'll row that are... So I'll get three in a row. Okay. There you go. Um, okay, Jimmy. Uh, sorry? Which four presidents are on the Mount of Rush... Uh, on Mount Rushmore? Oh, boy. Uh, yeah. Um, we're going to say Washington... Lincoln, Roosevelt, Jefferson. Correct. Nice job. Dang, dude. Ice in his veins. <laughs> Thanks, Good guys. Lord. I was not sure about any of them. I had three of them. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know who the fourth one was. I was like, I was like Obama, uh, <laughs> president, John Wayne. Okay, Zach. It's Nate's turn. Oh no! No, no, no! no. You got yours. higher than me. Yeah, you got, yeah, you got a better score. It's your turn. No, you got. Jimmy you got Zach. Cook. All right. Okay. Um, we'll go backwards. That's fine. Where were the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, and the Bill of Rights stored during World War II? Um, I'm going to go with the Library of Congress. No. Um, I have no idea. Give a guess. Um, I'm going to go to my default answer when I don't know something, which is Saskatchewan. Mm. Saskatchewan. <laughs> Jimmy. Fort Knox? Yeah. Hey, Jimmy. Did you cheat? <laughs> no. That was a complete guess. Okay. I'm just... I'm, I'm just <laughs> we'll see. Tickled. We'll see. You're so tickled. tickled. Okay, Nate. Yes. Operation Desert Shield and Operation Desert Storm mm-hmm. were the two phases of this armed conflict between Iraq and a 42-country coalition led by the United States. What is this war? Is it the Cold War? No. Oh, I think I know. I think I... It, all right, never mind. <laughs> the Iraqi War? No. It's, it's not... I would have called it Desert Storm, but... um. That's what I thought of right after I said the other. But she said Desert Storm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's, it can't be Desert Storm, right? Yeah. What wars have we... Had? What wars have we been alive for? I was just... Oh... You know, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not the, it's not the Vietnam War. No. It's after that. Right. I don't. I publicly, I want all the shame, because I don't know this. Do you want? I I won't give Jimmy the answer, but do you want to see if he can guess it? Because he's like, I know. I think I know. Well, just just let him guess. I mean, he might yeah, as well. Yeah. What is it, Jim? The Gulf War. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. I've just always referred to that as Desert Storm. Me too. Me too. Okay. Um, Jimmy's turn. Jimmy's turn. What animal is responsible for the most human deaths in the world? Hippopotamus. Wrong. Zach. Um, oh. Animal? Can it? Can this be an insect? It's, it's, it's yeah. It's Mosquitoes. Not, yeah. Nice, dude. Good job. I was I get think- confused because some people. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, did you mark down my point? I did. Okay. I marked down your point. <laughs> it's my turn. You're on the board now. Uh, what animal has long been associated with Budweiser? Frogs. No. Yes, it is. No. Budweiser. You're no. Oh, uh, you're, that's the slogan. Uh, is it a Clydesdale? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, sick. <laughs> uh, see, I, hold on, hold on. When you said frogs, I was like, <laughs> Bud that was their that was their ad campaign for a long time. Was it I mean, really? I'm clearly wrong. No, it was when I was in I'm junior high. Wrong. It was they did have frogs. Oh, I didn't I, even know that. I didn't know had they a, had that. We had a towel hanging up in my bathroom when I lived with my 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 three roommates yeah. of the Budweiser frogs. I can't believe I missed wow. that. Wow, it's obviously Clydesdales. It's so like, it's it, like, w- it was like a Geico thing where it was like their <coughs> mascot was the. Yeah. Okay, I can't oh. believe that. I didn't know that. You, I'm you don't moron. even drink beer. Yeah, but everybody knows that about. I like horses, you know. Also, the, Cl- the Clydesdales are like an hour from here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. yeah oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. The, I think it's is it Warm Springs Ranch or something. I don't know. We've been. I've been. It's Nate's turn. That's cool. Okay, Nate. A dog sweats through which part of its body? Their 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 mouth. Wrong. Their tongue. Okay. Jimmy. Its butt. No. Ears. No. Paws. Huh. I can test that. It's Jimmy's turn. Are you sure it's not? Oh my gosh! I always thought that that was they like part of the saliva thing. They regulate temperature through their panting, but okay. I would have guessed that too. 
Um, <coughs> it's pause. Is it Jimmy? Jimmy's turn. Yeah. An Olympic gold medal is mostly comprised of what medal? Nickel. No. Zach? Steel. No. Aluminum. No. Dang it. It's silver. It's 92.5% silver. My turn. That's uh. an OSHA violation. <laughs> Um, I didn't realize we were having metal- metallurgical questions here. I should have brushed <laughs> off. What is it called when a bowler makes three strikes in a row? Turkey. Yeah. Nice, dude. Okay. Nate. Nate. What is the term used when a golfer scores three under par? I'll take two different on, answers. On one hole? Well, so uh, it just says when a golfer scores three under par. A bogey. No. No. That's no, over. I have no idea what it is. That's just the only golfing one I know. A birdie. No. So this could have a lot of answers. So a, it's got two. So two two strokes on a par five is three under par, and that's called an albatross. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it can be called an albatross or a double eagle. Or a oh hole in God. one, technically. Oh. Yeah. And a birdie means one under par, mm-hmm. and an eagle is two under. So okay. Zach got it. Okay. Nice. Good job, bud. They're all, they're all birds. There's Golden. also an eagle. They're, they're all bird-related. Albatross is a bird. Uh, yeah. Whose turn is this? Mine. What is the national sport of Canada? Hockey. No. You're the national sport of Canada? I'm t- I, I mean, this is what it told me. I could be wrong. I could have... They could have... Is it my turn? Yeah. It's. Uh, is it curling? No, that was a good one, though. Dang it. How is it not that? I don't know. We might have to look it up now. I'm a little anxious. Ice skating? No. Lacrosse. Uh, Piss off, Canada. Uh, Who plays r- lacrosse? Canada sucks. It's anyway. Nate's, it's Nate's turn. Okay, Nate. Uh, what sporting event is held every Memorial Day? And when they say sporting, I don't mm, know that I, I, think I, I th- consider this a sport. It's, it's kind of outside the box here. Yeah. Do you let me ask a question before Nate answers? Do you know like one or two of the competitors by name? I probably used. To, I couldn't tell you who competes now. Okay. okay. I have no idea. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know. I might be thinking of Fourth of July. D- I don't know. D- disc golf. No. Jimmy. <laughs> Chess. No. I'm going outside the box here because I don't know. Is it hot dog eating? <laughs> no. That's Fourth of July. It's, it's Joey the, Chestnut. It's the Indy Five Hundred. Okay, that's not a sport. No. That's why <laughs> no. I was like, I don't know that I... Todd see. Carney, I know you're out there. Not a sport. Jimmy Stern. Okay. What is the national sport of Japan? <clears throat> Soccer. Wrong. Sumo wrestling. Yes. Nice, dude. Well. 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 <laughs> okay, Zach. Who is the youngest golfer ever to win the U.S. Ju- junior a- amateur title? Tiger Woods. Yeah. Nice, dude. It's pretty easy. So is sumo wrestling in Japan, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nate. It's not point figures here. <laughs> Who is the all-time home run leader? Career? Yeah. You know this. Babe Ruth? Nope. No. Dang it. I was, it probably it was, was a my good second guess. guess. It probably was my second guess. Hey, Karen? No. Barry Bonds. Yep. Dang, dang it. it. That was my second. That I should have just said Barry Bonds. I should have just said it. I should have just said it. I don't think it's close either. I think he's. It's like forty off or something. I don't know if it counts though because they stripped him of all that. So, but did you know? Did you know? uh, We need to look this up off the air. I heard somebody say one time, like in Babe Ruth's day, like they didn't call balls and strikes. They were supposed to throw it over the plate. Like that was the whole game. Was like. Every th- pitch had to be a good pitch, you mean? Yeah, like you could throw it hard, mm-hmm. but they're not throwing junk and like four balls is a walk and stuff like that. I, I may be wrong about that, but I feel like, okay, the steroid conversation is one we should have, but the rules have changed. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. I've never heard that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know who's I may be totally wrong. It's Jimmy's uh, turn. It's Jimmy's turn, yeah. Which athlete won the Tour de France every year from 1999 <laughs> to 2005? Lance Armstrong? Correct. Seems like an easy one. Dang it. I hey, knew let's that not point one. fingers, Zach. I knew that one. Okay, Zach. What stately river runs through the Grand Canyon? <laughs> I 
Stately River. Okay. Can we clarify what stately means? It's the name of a state. Okay. I just have no idea. Uh, I'm going to go with the Ohio River. No. Is it the is it the Missouri? No. Dang it. Is it the Colorado? Yes. <sighs> of course it's the Colorado. Nice, Jim. Thanks. Nate's okay, turn. Nate. Boxing up. made its official debut at the 1904 Summer Olympics, which was held in what U.S. city that is the home to the Gateway to the West? Is that is the Gateway to the West St. Louis? Yeah. I'm was, so glad you gave I me that. Really I'm so glad anxious. you gave me. I'm so glad you gave me that hint. It had it, that had nothing to do with boxing. <laughs> <laughs> gave him that one context clue. I would have never got that if you hadn't hey, said Nate, that. Hey Nate, what state? Has the arch. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, Jimmy. If you wanted to travel through three adjacent U.S. states that all started with the same letter, you would have to travel through which three states? Can you repeat the question, please? If you wanted to travel through three adjacent states that all started with the same letter, you would have to travel through which three states? So it's got to be three states that are touching, and they all start with the same letter. New Jersey, New York, New Hampshire. No. <laughs> can I ask? Can I? Can I ask the letter? And if I'm right, I can. Okay. I'm so bad at geography. Oh, I am too. I'm gonna say. Uh. That was a good guess, Jim. That was I wasn't even thinking that. I'm bummed. Well, it was wrong, so I know. shouldn't be bummed. Ten seconds. Um, <clears throat> Michigan, Montana, Missouri. <laughs> no, those <laughs> don't touch. I know. Nate? I have no idea. I'm going to say... Are they M's? They no. start with M's? They start with N's. I have no idea. You want me to just tell you guys? Wait, can I have 10 more seconds? Yeah. <sighs> Is it like Maine, Massachusetts? No. I'm just going to tell you. No, w- oh, well, hold on a second. No, so hold on. Hold on a second. I don't know how many. St- I don't. I, I'm terrible with geography. We know. Da- hey, hey! You're also on the computer doing something right no, now. No, I could be cheating. I'm not cheating. I I don't know. Okay, don't know. so I'll tell you what it is: Indiana, Illinois, and Iowa. Oh my god! Okay, so <laughs> the final the final three questions are actually riddles. Okay. So it's oh, that's kind of my turn. That's interesting. It's okay. your turn. Yeah. Okay, you ready? I am not alive, but I grow. I don't have lungs, but I need air. I don't have a mouth, but water kills me. What am I? One more time, please. (laughs) I am not alive, but I grow. I don't have lungs, but I need air. I don't have a mouth, but water kills me. What am I? Fire? Correct. Nice, dude. Nice. Okay. I was also thinking of balloon for a second. (laughs) Nate. Yeah. What has wheels and flies, but is not an aircraft? What has wheels and flies? What has wheels and flies, but is not an aircraft? What has wheels and flies? Uh, is it a? Is it a? A wagon, a flyer, a red. What, what do they call those? A red flyer. Uh, no, I, I don't it's know. Not. I don't know. Jimmy, you know? Is it time? No. Zach. Is it a trash can? You are so close. Okay, then I don't get it. It's a garbage truck. Hmm. Okay, final one, Jimmy. Like flies. Bzz. Yeah. 
Okay. Sometimes I am born in silence. Other times, no. I am, un- I am unseen. But I make my presence known. In time, I fade without a trace. I harm no one, but I am unpopular with all. Good. One more, like seven more times I need that one. Yeah. Okay. Once you hear it, you're going to be like, oh my God. <laughs> Cam Liston. S- Sometimes I am born in silence. Other times, no. I am unseen, but I make my presence known. In time, I fade... Or sorry, in time, I fade without a trace. I harm no one, but I am unpopular with all. What am I? Pain. No? Zach? Fade without a trace? Mm Mm-hmm. Sometimes I'm born in silence, other times no. I am unseen, but I make my presence known. In time, I fade without a trace. I harm no one, but I am unpopular to all. Wow. What am I? Wow. I have no idea. Do you guys want... You want to give up? You want me to tell you? Sadness. No. Do you want to give a guess, Nate? Born in silence. Sometimes... I'm going to say... I'm going to say anger. Okay, so I'm going to tell you. It's a fart. Harm no one? Harm no one. (laughs) I mean... I mean... Are we talking about mental damage? (laughs) Okay, so final scores, uh, Zach got seven, Jimmy got four, and Nate got two. Dang. Okay. This was a harder one. Yeah, those were those were more difficult, definitely. Those were good, though. Riddles they were good. fun. Hooligan-yes? I do miss Hooligans. The Hooligans was a nice restaurant here in town that's that's no longer a thing. I like their Long Island. What did they do? What was, like, I've never been. It was they, expensive. Well, uh, and they also got in trouble. They also yeah. got in trouble because they were, like, selling drugs in the parking lot. It, it just, was over there by uh, Kobe. It I was, think they yeah. just went bankrupt. It was like freaking, yeah, but I uh, think that they had a lot of crime. Maybe what's that place? Like Applebee's. It was like expensive Applebee's. But they had like it was better. Than it that, was though. like two dollar Long Islands. It like happy hour. Like there was Some there, drink specials. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It was okay. Been there a couple times. I'd go again if it existed. It they shut down nice, right around COVID. They had a nice burger that was like a Casey burger. It was just like a burger with pulled pork and then like. Uh, brown sugar cured bacon with barbecue sauce. Ooh, it's pretty good. That is exactly the exactly the type of thing that I would think you'd like. <laughs> it wasn't bad. I usually I, don't go not, for that's so. not like an, an insult, but I like when I think of you, I think of the thing that has seven different toppings. Do you know what we did? So we every once in a while we'll do these like bacon, egg, and cheese, um, like every like with everything bagels. Nice. And, uh, that sounds so good, dude. Yeah. And so, like, tons of bacon, mm-hmm. um, eggs over hard or fried, you know. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, when I make it, Jimmy, like, goes and grabs the syrup from the fridge. And he just starts covering it in syrup. <laughs> and and like, butter. No. Syrup and butter. Butter is already applied. Butter's on, like, the the bagel. Um, but he just gotcha. covers it in syrup. And I'm like... Okay. It was it was like one or two times we had a ton of syrup. From, we still have a ton of syrup yeah. if anybody needs syrup. From Why do you crack- have so much syrup? For her family is like family brunch that we did. We got Cracker Barrel to go and they gave us like twenty five little miniature syrups from Cracker Barrel. So Dips. we have a whole fridge. No Dips. Dips. I'll bring you some. Thank you. Yeah. That's why I love you. Why'd you Jimmy's, say no, Jimmy? Jimmy's looking at me like, why'd you give me? She'll them save away? you like ten of them. Yeah. Jimmy's sneaking shots kidding. of them like they're kidding. fireball. <laughs> Just at night before bed, it Put just goes in the in microwave there, just peels and just off the little like, thing. Like we have so many that you know, like the when you open your fridge, you have like the side holders. Mm-hmm. More than half, three fourths of one of them is just completely oh. filled with a whole bunch of little mini. Can't um, go wrong. You can't go wrong there. Classic, um, just maple syrups. Because like you got to choose your calories, but if you guys had those protein pancakes, yeah, oh they're, yeah, they're yeah. really good. Yeah, they're probably not as good as like a regular pancake. Yeah, but if you put real syrup on that. Let's we eat them. Here. We eat them all the time. I love them. Yeah, we eat them all the time. Never. At least we had a, a solid waffle maker, so we could make real waffles. You yeah. can ask with for it. that for Christmas next year. I did one year, and I didn't get it. So oh. I Amy. No, it was it was it was my family that didn't get it. No, oh. see that's yeah. Okay. Don't don't place blame on me because okay. You could, I mean, you could probably find a decent waffle maker at like Goodwill. Is that weird? I don't he really wants have... the really fancy one. Like of course he, he does. He wants... Shuffle maker. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, you don't want a waffle maker, Jimmy. You want a chaffle maker. No. Jimmy's never bought anything that was just standard. No. Like, you know the astronauts use this one, right? Yeah, exactly. It's be good like, in seven Gs. That's <laughs> not true. I got a I got a Blackstone that's pretty standard. You didn't pay for the Blackstone. I didn't Somebody pay for it, bought but it for you. A Blackstone isn't standard, you moron. That's it's high not? end. No, Blackstone is high end. No, normal huh. people have like an electric griddle on their friggin' countertop they have to use. You I have... wish we had one of those. That'd yeah, be nice for breakfast. He's very upset because the, the Black... not good enough. Oh, it's still well, sitting it's... in the package in the mail. It's too cold to put outside. Oh you. my gosh, Jimmy! No, it's just Before put, put it, it up... inside the garage, like with the door open. We don't have and... room in the garage. Yeah. What'd you put in there? Stuff. Your chainsaw is like taking up the last little bit of no, space. No, it's not. I was just in there not that long ago. There was plenty of space for a Blackstone. I I got a few pieces of furniture. <laughs> oh, so the truth comes out. It, Amy's antique shop. It was really really inexpensive. Amy's got antiques. Yeah, I, I I'm supposed to be reading them. We need to make them. we need to make jingles for all her little things. Stop playing with the rope. We need to right? make t- hey, We can make like a t-shirt. We need to make a t-shirt for the podcast. I was thinking about that. For sure we do. We should do Amy's Got Game. Yeah. I think we should go take J.C. Penny's photos. That'd be great. It'd be hilarious. They're really funny. Yeah. It would be pretty nice. You can put some t-shirts out there and then like just funny things that happen. Yeah, we're gonna have What's to have going- one-liners and then Jimmy's face. Yeah. Yeah. Jimmy Sweet Treat Nichols. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That'd be good, too. You don't like sweet treats, Zach? I don't like when a grown man tells me, it's like a sweet treat. <laughs> and I got it from a little boy in Honduras. <laughs> and a, in a butter my pop tarts. <laughs> you know, guys. Patna? <laughs> I think you're you're knocking on something you've never tried. And until you try it, you can't really knock it. Look, dude, I'm not saying it wouldn't taste So guess good. what the next taste test is? We're going to bring in ramen, and we're going to shake some seasoning over it. I'll try the Pop-Tart try. first. Uh, let's do the buttered <laughs> Pop-Tart <laughs> instead of that. Is that is that going to be the new taste test series? Is just white? Things that you... Yeah. Yeah. Well, what? we already know, though, that it's you're full of crap, because we did the chocolate, ta- the chocolate milk taste test. Well, so and that, was, that no. was me being pretty prideful about buying that chocolate milk yeah but now i know because I've, I've never I respect done, that so i'll try your pop tart i've never is. done a side-by-side comparison yeah kind of crazy kind of crazy because anytime i would get yeah we like, still have to milk. take the glass bottle back it's sitting in the fridge for our the taste no, we don't. for our taste test can we yeah, just get it's like sitting over by the keurig i took it back oh you did yeah okay i want that deposit for one of our tastes te- on the counter for one of our taste tests can we just get like five, four large pizzas and see who can eat the most well i'm gonna lose yeah, can we it's do not... that the the week of barbell games? Oh, and just that'll be like our podcast. You know what it would be kind of cool is like I could pack games? up all this stuff and we could podcast that weekend at the house at the show. That'd be kind of cool. Mm. Uh, podcast that weekend at the barbell if games, I but to you're come... not probably going to go. So I'm just over here just reeling over you talking such a big game about what. You know how long it's been since you've eaten anything cool? I've been trying for years to get you to eat like. What are you talking full, about? You're always worried about your abs, worried about how your glutes are going to look in the singlet. You're all like, "Hey, man, I'm on the straight and narrow. I, I don't do anything cool anymore." That doesn't matter. I could out eat 99 percent of people, regardless of what I've had recently. I agree. I'm not saying you couldn't. I'm saying you won't. I'm saying you brought up. Let's all eat large pizzas, and every time I would do it right now. Here, if we do it in the next week, I'll do it you before want an, I start cutting again. You want an impression? I'll get a bowel obstruction. I can't participate. You want? You want my impression of you? Yeah. Say the pizzas thing. Okay. Can we get four large pizzas? I'm out. And see? <laughs> I'm out. That's not what I would do. I'd be like, man, it sounds good, but I can't. That's what I feel I would like. Say. There's a little true. hostility yeah. here between you two. It's not me. It's Zach. He has hostility towards all of us. Agreed. I don't say, feel it. Piss yeah. off. I don't feel it. No, he likes me. <laughs> She's bringing me scissor. Yeah. S- sipping on some syrup. How much syrup do you think you could take straight to the dome? Yeah. Whole bottle. Is it like a like a twelve ounce bottle? Mm, whatever size. Yeah. Is it real? It doesn't syrup, matter. Like if it's like it twenty ounces, I'll just chug of, it. A vat of it? No, just like if it's like one of those what like Miss Butterworth, like twenty eight ounces. Okay. Twenty four ounces. Yeah. Twenty four ounces? Yeah, dude. One shot. <laughs> well, I can't like chug it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Really? No yeah, way. Dude. Yes. That's, that would be so easy. Do you want to try? Next You'd time? be so sick. You could yeah, try I mean, I wouldn't Saturday. feel good. We should probably do a segment where me and you just go back and forth. <laughs> I do kind of want to see how much butter you could put down. 
I, yeah, I would feel Hold so. Hold on, sick. how much how much butter do you think is possible? Like just eating sticks. I don't like really a banana. Want to know. How, no, no, no. How like how much do you think Nate could do? What what do you think's a good? Jimmy's well, like examining I, I me. Like, why are you looking so, me up and down, Jimmy? I like, can't you already that know my I stature. I didn't eat butter when I was a kid like that, so I don't. None know. None of us did. I'm sure he did. So, <laughs> the, I'm going to ask a question. Sticks of butter. Does it have to be like right out of the fridge, or can it be room temp? Um. Somewhere between out of the fridge and room temp, it needs to hold hold its shape. I think, because because if we because we had this debate, mm-hmm. and if you want to put down the most, it's got to be liquid. Yeah, for sure. But uh, dude, it's gonna leak out your ass. There's gonna you are gonna lube your shit up, and it's just gonna like leak out of you. Probably, it's gonna be so bad. I think it's less of a leak and more of a forceful exit, personally. But I think I think they could probably do like eight sticks. You want to know Thanks, why I Jimmy. say? Do you want to know Thank why you. I, I say that. I have a friend when I was a kid, and she was having GI issues. I don't know all the details because we were in elementary school, but her doctor had recommended that she drink like um, vegetable oil. Ugh. And I remember this because like we're little kids, so like she, we would change in front of each other. She was like having to put like pads in because it was like staining her underwear because it was leaking out of that her poor kid mm-hmm. and this is like a little kid in elementary school that sucks so man. that's why i'm like if vegetable oil will leak out of you like you have no control well, a mass amount of butter i also oil think for sure i also think vegetable oil is just just different like i i don't think any of us should have vegetable oil personally butter is a little different but also it's nate so you're gonna eight sticks are you gonna eat which, Gosh, which competition would you try to do more? The syrup eating or the butter eating? I think the syrup would affect I, me less. I can bring the syrup this weekend. We can try it. Well, I th- I think that for the amount of syrup Nate is going to put down, you'd probably have to get... Well, we're going to buy some, Jim. Okay. Can, okay. I eat it on, can I eat it on pancakes? No. No, you okay. have to... You, the whole point was like drinking it. Okay. Uh, I wonder if there's any places in town that have like all-you-can-eat pancakes right now. You know what I was thinking we should do with your Blackstone? We should go park it downtown when the bars close and uh-huh. just make pancakes. I'm pretty sure you have to have a license yeah. for that. Do, we'll get that. We'll okay. figure it out. I feel like you can make good money. Maybe. You have those little wax paper things so, you hand them to them so in? So back in the day, um, on them. when I, like right out of college, there was a, somebody did this for like one of their, pro, like I don't know if it was business or what, but students, like they had to come up with an idea and then they had to try to like make it happen. And that's like how pizza started being sold downtown after bars. And this really? kid literally picked one bar. He stood outside of it. He had like pre-ordered like the special pizza boxes. He dropped out of school because he... <laughs> well, he... he he made a ton of money, and he I'll just bet. stood there between like eleven to like one thirty, and <sighs> and he only had like two different kinds of pizza. It wasn't like he had like everything. He had like pepperoni and sausage. That Dude, was he had it. Meat. I thought he was gonna go like just cheese, just standard he, cheese. I mean, every time I went, I always got pepperoni. So if where you getting was, them cheese, Danny? Where you getting that cheese, Danny? I uh, I gotta go train with my client. Okay. We're at fifty five minutes, so that's great. Yeah. Okay. We did it. Eight sticks. Out. I just so should, which so one's much. which so, one's more calories? Definitely the butter. Am I bringing syrup on Saturday? Are you going to do it? Yeah, bring it. So you're that gonna one's drink, not even a big deal wait, to me. I don't you're even... going to drink syrup, and you're going to drink syrup. Are we going to see who drinks it faster, or just who can drink a whole bottle? Who's I'm drinking to syrup? In. Yeah. Oh, Zach just likes to make me do the bad stuff, and then he just sits there and laughs if I can't do it or not. We well, did eat worms a, at one. This point. was a battle of the. Of the big guys. Is this a is it a race? No, it's I don't want whatever you no. guys want to do. I don't work well under time. I got to be able to just if I have <laughs> enjoy it. We'll I want to be able to enjoy it. It's I, I don't know. So do you're going to drink a bottle drink? of syrup in the time the podcast in the entire time the podcast is going. Well, that uh, doesn't seem hard. As the podcast. Okay, in the first 15 minutes. I don't know. I don't why do I have to have a time restraint? Well, because because think, you have to finish it before the podcast is over. So I have like an hour. That's what I just said and then so are we behind? What do you, you, want, you want me to do it in ten minutes? Yeah, I'm just gonna ask about. The you syrup. started by saying, chubby. "Are you guys getting real syrup, or is it like yes. the can the I do log the sugar free? And... Yeah, do you guys have sugar a preference free? of what flavor I buy? like? Not flavor, but like brand I buy. I don't care. Yeah, just get them Aquafina. This okay? This is what this is boiling <laughs> down to. No, hey, you I'm get a, me whatever I'm you want. I'm a fan of log in cabin. whatever size you want. Oh, okay. Mrs. Butterworth. We're going to Sam's. Can Club. it be under a gallon though? <laughs> Under a gallon, if I could make it. If a, it's a gallon, I'll give you the whole hour. 
if we could make it under that, that would be great because that's going to be we like five hundred You should check your blood carbs. sugar afterwards because it's eight hundred. All right. Well, this has been a lot of fun. We'll talk about if we're going to do this or not. No, we're going to do it. Listen. We'll in talk next about time. it. We'll talk about it. You guys take care of yourselves. Stay warm out there. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. Try being my size, Amy. You don't know how it is. There's stuff you can do. You want to be a big egg. baby about everything. I ain't baby. You're the damn baby. Grow the up. You first. Bitch, I've been grown. I pay my bills. My bills are bad.